I gotta go and uh, drop off Liam's wallet because he forgot his lunch this morning. How convenient. Oh, Dad, can you, uh, I forgot my lunch. Can you drop off my wallet and the A&W coupon book? Yeah, okay. Not the healthiest of choices, but he's becoming a man. What am I gonna do? I'll just make sure that he exercises and eats well when he's here. That's it, that's all I can do. Well, dang it, I got here too early. I, I don't know why I thought it was gonna take so long. I'm like sitting here in the parking lot waiting for Liam. I got 15 minutes before he's out of class, so. Anyway, what I'm gonna be doing today, uh, one, I'm gonna be going back home, I'm gonna pack a bag, uh, like a light backpack, a day pack, and I'm gonna go for a hike, uh, a Kamoka Provincial Park. I'm thinking I might even leave, just in case anyone, are, if you're in the area, again, prevent Kamoka Provincial Park, very, very small little thing, a little spit of a land. I'm gonna put some dog tags out there, so if you're ever out that way, I'll show you on the on the video where I've uh, hidden them, and you know, if you're going for a nice little walk, you got yourself a little treat there, a little keepsake. Um, and then I'm gonna go to Chapters or Indigo, you know, the bookstore, and I'm gonna get Cal uh, some spelling books. We have them read, uh, Ewan and Cal read every night for half an hour, it's part of their routine. We make sure that they do that, but Cal's spelling is really bad, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try and help him. So every other night, so he'll read one night for half an hour, and then the uh, next night he'll do, like, hopefully I can find one, one of those spelling books, because I want him to do well in school, I don't want you know, it's, it's, you know, we laugh when we're playing fibbage and we can always tell his answers because they're always spelt wrong, but it's not really funny. He should, he should learn to spell and I want him to succeed. So that's what I'm going to do today. I would have gone on the treadmill except my chest is still congested and I'd end up wheezing and struggling. So I figure a nice hike outdoors since it's not horrible out. It's not the nicest, but it's not horrible out. I figure a nice hike uh, in Kamoka Provincial Park would be nice. So that's where we're going today, people. There it is. There's your wallet. There's your coupon book. Yeah. That way I can maximize Wait. how much I get. And these are your sheets. Yeah. Can but I just go home for lunch? You want to just go? no? Because I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Uh. I just, none, you want me to give you a ride or something? No, I can, none of my friends are going out anyway. I don't want to go by myself and be a loner. Ah, uh, fine. Come on, get in. Yes. You know you're inconveniencing me, right? Yes. I'm supposed to be going for a hike. Are you? Yeah, I gotta get out. I can't. With you. No, you're got you got school, meatball. Put your belt on. So, rather than this is healthier than your than your would be A and W burger you're gonna eat. He's having a grilled Reuben sandwich. So Swiss cheese, some corned beef, and sauerkraut, and then mustard. Did you put mustard on already or no? Yes. After. After. Floyd's like, yeah, it sure does smell good in here. Because we don't normally, this is my lunch. Toast, toasted sourdough bread, and uh, some bean medley for my walk. I need some energy. Energy! How you feeling, bud? No? Uh, you, your throat sore? Have you been eating anything? Did you eat anything yet? No. You gotta eat something. If you're hungry, no matter what it is, you let me know, okay? Because you got to keep your, your energy up or it's you're going to get really weak. I know it's hard when you, you got a cold and everything, but okay? You're not hungry at all, though, eh? Only a little bit, so... Okay, well... Well, if you're hungry, you eat. Just... I'll get a little snack. Okay, like what? What do you want? want some crackers? Do you want banana? Do you want... Some toast? No? Alright, well, we'll figure something out. Mama, are we gonna go for a walk, bud? Eh? We can go for a walk? Oh, you can't get up there, can you, buddy? Oh! 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 oh. Alright, you stay there. Ooh, we're gonna go for a walk today. Rumble, come here, bud. Come here. Well, nice new bathrooms, but uh, I was wondering why they moved 
locations, because it used to be down the road there, and you just drive in and you go walking. This, this is why they now moved it. I guess that's the sign of the times, right? All these paths, I, if they're gonna keep it up, no problem. I got no problem paying this, but if this place goes down, simply so that they can charge money and get money for people to park here and walk in the outdoors, I'm not gonna be very impressed. But hey, you know what? This looks good, these look maintained, but we'll see how the park is, and we'll see if they keep these up in the summertime. That's the big thing. If this pays for all this stuff, no problem. The Thames River, Guamo, I don't like you so close to the edge. You are not the greatest walker in the woods. I think this is the first time we, we've taken them in the woods. I don't know if you saw it on the GoPro footage or not, but this guy is wrapping himself around in everything. Cause he's not, there's, you know, there's like twigs and branches and he's, he, I don't know why, but he struggles to see these paths. You're not a good tracking dog, you know that? He's like, I know, I'm, I'm just a cute little Frenchie. I'm not, I'm not very good. I don't know how to hunt things. I know how to eat poo though. I can find poo. Oh, like truffles. Maybe you can find truffles. You snort like a pig. Hey, can you find us some truffles? Don't jump up on me, bud. Oh, very, it's a bit chilly. A bit chilly, but man, really nice. Nice to get out here. Beautiful. Well, we got some walking to do. We got to keep going. You up for the task, Ramo? Hey, I'll get you a treat when we get back to the car, okay? For being such a good boy. Good boy, wrapping himself around trees and everything. What a good boy. Okay, so you see that little plaque there? It's, uh, we came from that direction. We came from here, it's an open field over here. It's another one of these little Kamoka plaque things there where they tell you about the Carolinian forest and everything. And then if you walk right here, this is where the path continues. I'm gonna place two tags because you know, it's not the nicest day, uh, day out here. So if you guys want to come out and get these, if anyone's in the area, see this log here, all the way at the end, I'm gonna put two tags in the in the end right there. So there's the plaque, follow here, path goes on there, we're gonna go this way. Uh, Brahmo, are you ready for this little adventure? Come on, bud, let's go put it in there. You are not good. Okay, I'm gonna keep you on a short leash, short leash. This way, short leash, bud. Ooh, that's like, this actually might be good. Look, he's like, Romo's like, well, what about that spot right there? That's a good spot. I know, but this is a better spot because no one's coming out this way. Come on, bud. I know all sorts of forest smells, eh? You smell all that? Hold on, hey, 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 where are you going there? Chemo Slobby? Come back here, Tonto. Tonto, come here. God, he's a stubborn little, little donkey. All right, so right here, this is a perfect little spot. So here, both these two little, we'll put them right in there, okay? See that right in there? No one's gonna see those, no one's gonna get them, and they're sealed in little bags. A little courtesy tip, a little token, if you wanna come out, some of the adventures that I'm in. So there, at the end, of that big log, and then the sign is over there. You're welcome. Good job, Ramo. Way to only get caught on a few things in about 10 feet worth of walking. Well, I hope this is the uh, the way back. I'm pretty sure. Wait. Oh, <laughs> we didn't we didn't even really go that far. I think we took 
there's a V up there. Oh, sorry if I'm hitting that. Rommel, you're not making this easy. There's a V up there. We went along that thing and walked around the outside. My ears got a little bit cold. I'm sweating and I'm, you know, lungs are still a little congested. I wanted to get out anyway. Thanks, Rommel. Thanks for coming out and getting some exercise with me. You're a good guy. You're a real good fella. You're the hairiest guy I know. Oh, your ring is ready. I've been waiting all afternoon for this. Here's, Where is the, here's it? the one I got last night. So, hold on, let me focus in on that. Stop moving your hand, Mike. I can't focus in on you. You're like Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. That's a nice one, eh? Mm -hmm. Except I don't know how much it's valued oh, at because yeah, the appraisal it, didn't The appraisal, that one's a nice one. I bet, bet you that one's gonna be like 150, 200. Look at my short, stubby little fingers. Yeah, like they're really embarrassing. Elf. Okay, so there it is. I can't wait. Can you uh, see it? It's right there, people. It's right there mm -hmm. on the side. I'm gonna get Is this a necklace then? I don't know. It is, it is, it is. <gasps> it's a necklace. Watch the watch the I don't, wax. Whatever, it'll just put the candle out. No, I'm talking about the counter oh, and stuff. Oh, oh, oh. Oh shoot. I think it might be a necklace. Oh, I couldn't wait. There we get it out. Know, like you could have just let this burn no. down normally. You're like, oh it's there! Oh look at there's yeah. more. Is that just I think that's just some tin foil maybe? I don't know. Uh oh. It's all tangled up. It's all tangled up. Let's take a look. That's yeah, pretty. Let's, let's put it down right here. Okay, don't move it. Don't move here, it. Here, I gotta I'll put the I gotta put the code in. I gotta put the code in. Making some garlic bread and cheese. I don't like what you did with this piece. It look it doesn't look good. There you go. Oh. Simple solution. Oh, what is this? Gin pin. Gin and pineapple juice. Gin and pin. Thanks to my friend Janine. And I'm drinking uh, some Cavathier vegetarian. Uh, or vegan rather, fish sticks. It's uh, they're frozen. So we're gonna try these tonight. I've never. Have you actually ever tried them? Oh, golden fillets, vegan style fish and chips, fish free. And then we're gonna do these Brussels sprouts. Hopefully, I don't mess these things up. It could, could very well go south. There's game on tonight. Game on! All right. So the kids are gonna try these vegan fish, which is like soy protein. I would definitely dip it in ketchup, Ewan. Just saying, and you're sick. Did you put in ketchup? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Tell me what you think, though. What do you think? Mm. Hey, listen, if you go eh, that's a lot better than what you normally do. And eh from you is actually good. Cal, what do you think of it? Well, honestly, what do you think? Is it okay? It's okay? And the Brussels sprouts, I made these for the first time, roasted Brussels sprouts. If you guys can see these, they do look actually pretty good. You pan ro uh, fry them first with uh, chunks of garlic, that's what this is. So olive oil, you cut them in half, you roast them on that, on that side there. And then once you've got that, salt and pepper, put them in the oven for like uh, 20 minutes. I'm going to try that. What's the, the fish like, babe? I don't know. You haven't tried it yet? No. I gotta try it as well. You want to eat your fish if you... You don't like it? No, I'll eat it. You'll eat it? Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Thanks, bud. Alright, I don't know if you guys can see that. Payne was saying that this, uh, the inside's like the consistency of chicken. Like a chicken nugget. Like a chicken, but a, a kind of similar taste to, to fish, so... Yeah, they're fun. They remind me. Let's just be honest here. White fish covered in batter, and you have to have tartar sauce, whatever you put on it. Very hard to taste the fish. It's not like it's, you know, uh, rainbow trout or salmon or something with a really strong fish flavor. Most of the time it's cod, halibut, or something like that where there's not a lot of flavor. I think the consistency is more like fish and chips. I think they, they nailed it on this one. I would definitely eat this again. I'm. I'm pleasantly surprised. And Cal gave me a, a, uh, mm, a repeat on the Brussels sprouts. So he likes them. Hey, anytime kids like Brussels sprouts, which is like, what is it, high in iron? You got, you got a repeat. You got a repeat. And I actually like them as well. Very simple. Olive oil, salt and pepper, a bit of fresh garlic. That's it. So I think tonight's dinner actually worked out. <coughs> Quiet, I'm trying to end the vlog. Shut up. She's rude. We'll see you guys next time. Squish your head.